Our first reading this morning is from Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Let your hands not grow weak. The Lord your God is in your presence, in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you in gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exult over you with loud singing.
Our second reading comes from the New Testament this morning. First from Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. Next from Luke. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Luke chapter 11, verses 2 through 4. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. As in heaven, so in earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. This is the word of the Lord for the people. Please pray with me. Gracious and loving God, we ask now that you silence every voice within us but your own and startle us with your truth. Amen. I thought I'd start off today with a bit of Presbyterian trivia questions because I know everybody loves that. So the question is, in the Presbyterian denomination, what are the ways, or maybe there's only one way, that, uh, that a sermon can be done? Yes, if you have a voice, yes, it can be verbal. So there's your regular spoken sermon. So is that the only one, or are there like other ways? Yes, in song. Other ways. Yeah, theater, and Cheryl, what did you say? Sign? Yes, very good. Yes, I was waiting for David Kleiner to claim that because ever since I've been here, we've had a running joke that one day he will do that um, as a sermon. There's interpretive dance. So there's all sorts of ways that a sermon, a sermon can be done in our um, denomination. The one requirement is that scripture is read somewhere in there, but that's um, pretty much it. Did anybody look in their bulletins today to see the title of the sermon? What does it say? The musical, yeah. So uh, for some of you, this may be your um, dream come true or your worst nightmare, depending on who you are. Did everybody get one of these? If you did not, throw up your hand and we'll get you one. It's poster size, so you can frame it, whatever you want to do. So the way that we're going to proclaim the word this morning is I will read the line up top and then everyone, so you've become like a a Greek chorus in a play. So then you will sing the response. If you don't know the words or you don't know the, the music, that's fine. You can just listen. Don't feel like you have to force yourself to sing and see if you can get kind of lost a little bit in the music. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
now let's sing the Lord's Prayer together. Please pray with me. God, we thank you for the chance to proclaim your word together as one congregation. We ask that you continually remind us how radical this prayer is. And that that remains written on our hearts. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. 